Sasni Machi is a Parsi wedding speciality. Here the sas stands for sauce. It's a very unique recipe, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do for this recipe is make a paste, the base of which is two red onions, which I'm going to start grinding up here with some green chilies. some garlic Now not everyone adds ginger to it but my friend's mother told me that this was the secret to her recipe and I promise you it tastes far better with some ginger so I'm going to add some as well and just grind this to a paste That's a nice and chunky paste exactly what I'm looking for so now let's start cooking Now I have some ravas fish here which I have marinated with some lemon juice, salt and pepper. That's it, nothing fancy. If you can't find ravas, pomfret or surmai are also really great to use. Now to start cooking, I'm first going to get some oil into the pan. The oil has started to heat up, so now I'm going to add some cumin seeds. There're not too many spices that go into this recipe. Now to this, I'm going to add a paste. Be careful when you add it it will splatter a little take the flame on low Now I'm just going to cook down this paste let it cook till the raw aroma goes away completely You can see that this paste has cooked down really well now comes the unique part of this recipe it's such an amalgamation of western technique with ingredients that are available in India we're going to make a sort of a roux but there's no maida that goes into it instead we use rice flour so i'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of rice flour and cook that into this paste and the other unique part of this recipe in a bechamel you would usually use milk here we are going to use water add a little bit of the water and whisk that in don't add all of it in one go Now as this sauce is starting to thicken we're going to add the next important ingredient some cherry tomatoes that I've just cut into half you can use regular tomatoes also but cherry tomatoes are traditional and to this I'm also going to add some chopped up coriander and mint leaves I'm going to add a little bit of salt at this stage because I've also marinated the fish with some salt so just a little bit at this stage And now I'm going to add the fish slices one by one and let the fish cook in this lovely sauce. Now take the flame up to high and let this simmer. The fish should be done cooking in about 5 to 7 minutes. This has been bubbling away the fish is absolutely cooked so I'm going to turn off the flame and let this cool and then show you the next step now this is the second step of thickening this sauce or sauce I'm showing you the easiest method possible what I've got here is one egg which I'm just lightly whisking and I'm going to emulsify it by adding some sugar and vinegar whisk the sugar in and add the vinegar as well and whisk it to emulsify this has cooled down completely and just before i whisk in the egg just for the ease of whisking i'm going to take out the fish and just momentarily keep it on the plate And now I'm going to thicken this sas or sauce. I'm whisk back into the pan here, and I'm just going to drizzle this in little by little, and whisk it in vigorously. Now, even after you've added the egg mixture to this sauce, continue whisking because the residual heat in this is enough to cook it through. 
So maybe for another minute or so, continue whisking it. Final step, just adjust the flavors. Add a little bit more salt if you need to. I'm also going to add a tad bit more sugar. Stir that in. Now add the fish back into this sauce. Now we are ready to plate up our sasti machi. This recipe is a beautiful amalgamation of Western and Indian cultures and technique. Simple recipe that I hope you will try really soon. Stay tuned to Get Curried for loads more.